This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. I'm going to do a quick follow-up on a video I just uploaded. And here's the video. I'm going to link the video in the description of this video. What I wanted to do as a follow-up here is take a look at the current weekly and long-term charts here for AT&T. And we can see from the prior video we were talking about the possibility of tracking this for either a breakout or breakdown. But anyway... What we can do here is there is a recent weekly closing low, excuse me, weekly closing high. So a weekly closing high and the level there is 31.15 which goes back to this weekly closing high of February 2019. So clearly a breakout above this level is what the bulls want to see. That will be a quality breakout assuming it can hold above that. Now that is the bullish aspect in other words if it can clear this level that's going to be good we can watch this level for movement anything above this is definitely a reason to be short-term bullish or at least prepare to take a swing trade to the upside now i was taking a look at this from a long-term perspective by the way take a look here at the weekly chart and we take the recent highs of the rsi we can see that for this to be a successful breakout we need to clear this level on the rsi otherwise failure to hold above this level then that suggests that over time this might find resistance and coil down if we take a look at the long-term monthly chart and here we're taking a look at a three-year weekly three-year monthly three-year monthly what i want you to take a look at here is there are two recent resistance levels here and currently here on the monthly now we might wonder where are this resistance is coming from what we can do is if we take a look at the long-term monthly chart going back to 1990 monthly what i can do here is show you where i think this resistance is coming from and it is this line here you can see how it gives us a line connecting the lows here and here from there it connects to these lows and then recently we broke below that line and now we are seeing the two resistances that i just highlighted so it looks like from a long-term perspective this is going to be the struggle if at&t is to move higher from a long-term view it would have to clear this line which has turned into short-term resistance in other words visually you want it if you're bullish to clear that line for any further advance otherwise failure to move above the red line suggests that from a month-to-month -month perspective this could actually be an area where one can go short as long as it is below the red line in anticipation of a big drop in the coming months being that it is a monthly chart now also we can see that if we take a look at the hourly short term view if we take a look at this break here of october highs that gives us a level to watch be something like that and you can see how the market has used this on a short term basis for swing trade lower lower opportunities where it breaks down seems to be an area where one can go short even recently here a quick resistance so in other words if at and is to move high it needs to move above 31.15 on the weekly it would need to clear this level here on a short-term basis otherwise resistance around here on a short-term basis does suggest we can even start looking at this at being resistance so that breakout above 31.15 can be used as key otherwise i would say right now it leans to the possibility of a general pullback if not a major pullback based on those long-term monthly Chats. Eric Mwadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E. A. C. S.